Hey there, how's it going? Now let me preface this by saying that when I refer to the left and the right wing, I am doing this American generically. Okay, I'm not talking about how it is in other countries. I understand that, that other countries look at liberal and conservative slightly differently. This is coming from the perspective of United States politics. Those on the left are correct when they say that the right wing doesn't want to do anything about mass shootings. The left wing answer always seems to be that guns are the problem. Sometimes the left doesn't seem to realize that sometimes doing nothing about a problem is better than doing the wrong thing. As I've said many times, Putting restrictions on guns are not going to stop these mass shootings. People who want to get a hold of firearms are going to get a hold of them regardless. Even if we had the draconian rules where it's just banning guns outright, even if we had something like that, it wouldn't stop those who really want to get a hold of a gun, of a firearm of sorts, of getting a hold of them. If they really want them, the black market is there. It's going to continue to be there. You're not going to, to stop the black market. What I don't see either side talking about is mental health. I don't see this ever talked about, the study of what it is that make people make these sorts of actions, these terroristic actions. And if there are a lot of studies going into this, well, we certainly don't see them talked about in media, and we certainly don't see the politicians talking about it either. Why do so many people feel so disenfranchised and lost in this society? Why are people willing to lash out and destroy other people's lives in the process of destroying their own? Why are more and more people unable to handle the systems that we have in place? I think one of the big causes of these side effects, these terroristic killings, is that media doesn't control us like it used to. I mean, media used to have us control, I mean, march, lock, and step, and that's the way we do things. That's what media has done for so long. And now they're not doing that. They, they don't have that kind of control anymore. It's why I've always had to laugh when I see people saying, or hear people saying, that media and television and video games and all this stuff, oh, it, it doesn't barely have an effect on anything. And I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. As someone who makes that kind of statement, I bet most of the things that, that they talk about, that they involve parts of their life with, the context in which they know a lot of their information from, just random information from, is from media. Well, it shouldn't be that way. Well, it's the way it is. I mean, you yourself can can get out of it, but you're not going to just... You can't make, make some statement and suddenly society is able to get out of it. I think it's a really good thing that people are finally starting to get out of it. But there are ramifications for them getting out of it. There are ramifications of society kind of coming apart because it now has to handle differing opinions in ways we've never had to before. It causes more conflict than ever before. We've never been able to be this combative without actually going into battle before. And a lot of people are very addicted to, even in some cases, the adrenaline they get out of doing, out of being combative in places that aren't going to get you physically hurt. But there is this human tendency, this human animalistic tendency to want to stick to a tribe, to push a kind of dogma, to have some sort of ideology. And the kinds of choices people are having now as to what tribe you belong to, there are two primary ones to choose from now. These tribes are so unpleasant that people are like, well, I give up. And they just sort of self-destruct while trying to destroy what's around. They lash out. 
even if they don't do something as extreme as some of these mass shootings, they still eventually lash out. So during these times when people are lashing out at this sort of stuff, it's not the time to push some new set of dogma. It's not the time to push something that can't really scientifically be backed up. It's not the time. It's going to make things worse. There has to be some... We have to push more things that make sense, not just dogmas for the sake of, of, I don't know, trying to virtue signal. We're not giving people those options. This polarization that's happening. All this stuff that's going on, these are side effects of capitalism starting to crumble. We are watching a croniest, corrupt, capitalistic system starting to fall apart. This is how it starts to fall apart. We'll see even more instances of this type of thing and things that we haven't even thought of, but are just as bad, coming into place once the negative effects of automation start to come into place. We are currently in a downward spiral. We just don't know it yet. It's going to be hard for any capitalistic country. 